explain where to hang out. I'm here with a very gorgeous Tamara Melek. How are you? Yeah, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So she's a talented singer. She's over here for a couple of weeks from LA. Yes. So, um, what have you been doing since you've been in the UK? Um, well, the first day I got here, I got to go to the Lone Ranger premiere. Okay. Johnny Depp, and that was awesome. So he ran him. And I mean, I've just done a lot of shopping. Yeah. It's a little too much. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, what are your favorite shops? Top Shop is definitely my favorite, especially okay. the one here. It's like actually huge. It is. Compared to the one in LA, especially. And you, know, you can like go and get your nails done, and you can get tattoos. It's crazy. <laughs> you haven't got any tattoos. No, no, no. I don't have any, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's definitely my favorite. I also like Zara. Okay. So, do you have favorite designers? Favorite designers. Um, I love Victoria Beckham's line. Okay. I have a dress from there. Yeah, I like her line. I love Chanel. My favorite bag designer is Mulberry. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, I want one so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you been anywhere outside of London? Or have you just been in London while you've been? Here? I've just been London while I've been here, and I really want to go to Manchester though. Okay. <laughs> um, so, what are your three favorite things about the UK? Three favorite things. Yeah. Shopping. Okay. The music. Mm. And I don't know. I mean, I love like the buildings around here because it's so different from LA. It's like it's kind of like New York. Yeah. It's kind of like old fashioned. It's really good. It's a great architecture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what um so in terms of the music, who are you feeling? Ah, uh, hmm. my favorite artists are Miley Cyrus. Mm -hmm. She's like my favorite right now. I love We Can't Stop yeah. and her do it with Will I Am Fall Down. Yeah. Love that. Um, I like One Direction. Okay. Little Mix. Uh, Cher Lloyd mm -hmm. and Ollie. I love all the British singers. Yeah. yeah. But then I also like Taylor Swift. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> of course. You mentioned Harry Styles there. So I've got a question yeah. for you. If you had to text someone, call someone, and ignore someone out of the following three people, who would it be? Okay. So I'm going to say um, Harry Styles, um, Justin Bieber, and um, Ollie Mertz. Who would you text? Who would you call? Who would you ignore? If you had no choice. Okay. I'd call <laughs> Harry. Yeah. I text Ollie and he called Justin. <laughs> Poor Justin, why are you ignoring Justin? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I used to be like a really big fan of him. Yeah. I don't know. He's, You're not so, he's so anymore? cool. Because he's spitting at people. He is kind of crazy now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we have lots of fan questions for you. You've, okay. got, you've got a lot of followers, followers on Twitter, haven't you? Yeah, I have yeah. like over 300,000. It's really cool. It is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's really exciting. So and some of them have been kind of hitting up Flavor Mag, Flavor Mag forward slash hangout, that kind of UK mm -hmm. hangout. So there's still time, guys, and send in questions. So let's get through some of these. Okay. So we're still talking about Harry Styles, so we might as well start with this one. What was it like meeting Harry Styles? It was awesome. I mean, he's really nice. I've met him a couple times. Yeah. And so, you know, he's like my celebrity crush. It was really cool. <laughs> so you'd like to go on a date? With him? Yes. Yeah. Who would it? <laughs> what would be your ideal date with Harry Styles? Hmm. Probably something really romantic. Like even like a walk on the beach, then go out for some dinner. Very, very nice, very nice, very, very mature <laughs> evening. No, that like roller skating down the beach <laughs> yeah. and pillow fights. <laughs> pillow fights. That works. <laughs> Um, so that was from Shelby, so your fan Shelby. Um, so Kylie's asked, who is your fashion inspiration? Um, I like Miley Cyrus mm -hmm. and I like Eleanor Calder's oh. fashion. What is it about their fashion that you like? Um, I like Eleanor's. Hers are it's like very classy mm -hmm. and I really like it, but it still has a little bit of edge and I love Miley's fashion. I mean, it's kind of like her own personality. I love her crop tops and her yeah. high-waisted shorts and everything. She seems to be like not afraid to kind of take like, yeah. a chance on whatever she's wearing. Yeah, I think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. How would you describe your style? My style would probably be, you know, classy and you know, a little bit of edge too, and I don't know, I kind of just like do my own thing. Yeah. Really. <laughs> cool. Um, so we have Rebecca here. Rebecca said, if you could do it with anyone, who would it be and why? I'd love to do a duet with Will I Am. Okay. I think he makes really cool duets, and I'm a big fan of him. So Will I Am, if you're watching, you better be watching actually. Hit her up. She wants to do a duet with you. So you know, forget Britney. You've done one with her already. You know, and all the rest of them. It's all about to That'd be so cool. <laughs> so let's speak about your music for a bit. Okay. So the single. Tell us about it. Yes, the single is called Karma's Not Pretty. Yeah. And it's about how I had this boyfriend, and in the video, it's Keegan Allen, who's on Pretty Little Liars. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, he was my boyfriend, but then he kind of, like, cheats on me with my best friend. Mm -hmm. But, like, she knows, and we're just like, what's going on? And she, so, knows that she knows that he's cheating on you. 
Well, he doesn't really cheat on me. Like, he, like, tries to blur from him. But she's, like, warning me. And so then we both, like, kind of, like, confront him. And he's like, oh, crap. And so, yeah, so then once he's out of the picture, I find this new guy, and in my video it's Craig Sulkin. Okay. And so he's, like, all great and everything. And then he can kind of, like, comes back, and he's like, oh, I want you back, but he knows he's messed up. Yeah, as guys do. Yeah. It happens all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is that was based on kind of something that happened as well, right? Um, yeah, I mean, I my friend had the story, so. Who's your friend? I'm not going to say names. No, <laughs> we want to know who the friend is, don't we? She's <laughs> just a friend, but I mean. I'll talk about the guy, the boyfriend. Oh, the boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah, it was her boyfriend. It was a bad story, but I started writing it with Cassidy Pope, mm -hmm. and she won last season's The Voice in the U.S., yeah. and so I just kind of started writing about it, and it came out really cool. But speaking of The Voice and kind of programs like that, mm -hmm. if you like the X Factor, American Idol, obviously in the U.K. we have the U.K. versions as well. Mm -hmm. What do you think about kind of music artists that kind of find success through those shows? I mean, I think it's awesome. I feel like more of them come out from the U.K., like the X Factor. I mean, you have One Direction, Cheryl Lloyd, and yeah. Molly, and all those people, but I don't really hear about them coming from the U.S. Yeah. Except for like Fifth Harmony. I mean, that was really cool mm -hmm. for them. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, this is Fantasia, the originals, we were stood up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the first girl that won, that's American Idol. Um, oh, her name's escaped me, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to these fan questions. Okay. So, um, Rachel mm -hmm. says, you have gorgeous hair and skin, which you do. It looks quite flawless. Um, so, what are your favorite beauty products? Um, to wash my face, I use Cora Cosmetics, okay. which is my Miranda Kerr. And then for makeup, I either use MAC for my foundation or YSL. Okay. And I'm, I mean, I don't wear a lot. Yeah, you don't I need only to. have like foundation and like powder and mascara. So, yeah. And what about your hair? My hair, I just use a wand. Okay. Curler. Okay. I also like the Bumble and Bumble Beach stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess in LA and things, it's kind of um, it's quite warm and quite hot, so you mm -hmm. kind of just kind of. Get up and go rather than have to. Yeah, I mean, sometimes <laughs> I just like throw it up in fun. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> so, um, Stacy has asked, What is your favorite movie and why? My favorite movie? Probably be Clueless. Clueless. I, I love, love Clueless. Clueless. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't love Cher? <laughs> She's awesome, and her fashion is awesome. <laughs> no, it is one of my favorite movies. Yeah. I love. My um, ringtone is As If, like is the it? little saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Every time we get a text message, it's all here. <laughs> And Stacey Dash, even though that movie was, was it's quite old now. Yeah. And really, it's it is. She still looks flawless, even though. Yeah. Even today, and especially mm -hmm. she's in her forties. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> um, so Brady has asked, so you travel a lot between London and LA. Mm -hmm. Which place do you call home? I call LA home because yeah. that's like where I live. So yeah, I mean, this is one of my favorite time out in London, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I was going to go on holiday to LA, what do you think I should go and see? What What would you suggest that I do? Go to Disneyland, definitely. I go there all the time. Mm. I have like little paths. <laughs> when I think of Disneyland, I always think of Florida, not LA. Yeah, um, I, I kind of like LA's better okay. because it's it's smaller, and so you don't have to like walk such far distances to get to like every part of the park. Okay. But I love Universal Florida. Yeah. That was a lot better than the one in LA. <laughs> Harry Potter Land is awesome. You think the one in LA? You think it would be the other, other way around? Right. Yeah. Both. But no, it's the yeah the one in Universal in Florida. So you've got a lot of um, tour dates and things coming up. Mm -hmm. I mean, what can people expect from your show? Well, yeah, I have a couple shows coming at the end of this month for Start All, and there's going to be dancing, you know, because I've been dancing my whole life, so that's going to be a big part of it. And so I just want it to be a big performance that people are going to enjoy and have fun. So um, Lean has asked, mm -hmm. where would be the, your dream place to perform? Madison Square Garden. Okay. I think that's like everybody's dream place to perform. Yeah. So I think that would just be awesome. I'm sure that's a possibility. I'm sure it's going to happen in the future. <laughs> and Lena's also asked another question. Mm -hmm. She said, who are your top five sing favorite singers and bands? OK, favorite singers, I like Miley Cyrus, of course. Mm -hmm. One Direction, uh, Little Mix, Taylor Swift, Cheryl Lloyd, I think that's Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to keep it moving with the fan questions, because we have a lot. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of, well, she, she's more made a statement. She said, you and Harry Styles would make a great couple. Oh, thank you, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> and Georgia says, you're gorgeous. Would you ever date a fan? I haven't even thought about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. 
Why not? <laughs> if you met the right person. Yeah, I mean, if they're the right person, I mean, yeah. Have you had any strange fan requests or gifts or anything happen? Um, I don't think so yet. Or what's the nicest thing fans done or said to you so far? Um, I don't know. I mean, I have this one fan. She mm. lives in Colorado. That's where my hotel is. And she actually goes to other people's concerts and like, hands out my CDs to people. Oh. And I think that's awesome. And she's like a huge supporter. That is, that is a super fan. Yeah. <laughs> she's awesome. Shout out to you. <laughs> um, so Lisa's asked, would you rather kiss your, kiss your celebrity crush or get $50,000? Kiss my celebrity crush. So you give us fifty thousand dollars. This is like cash here. Here's the cash. You can take it now. I know. I mean, that's part of the little shop. Yeah. I think yeah. And at the moment, your celebrity crush is Harry Styles. Yeah. So Harry, she's giving up fifty thousand for you. So you, you, I think you need to take her on this date. <laughs> and so Claudia wants to know, what is your favorite food? Favorite food. Well, out here it's Nando's. Nando's. That place is amazing. <laughs> I mean, that's like my go-to place out here. Yeah. But I mean, I really like smoothies. If that counts as like a favorite food. <laughs> <laughs> I love smoothies too. Mm. And I think Nando's need to give Baby Mac a black card to so like every artist we meet to Nando's because every single oh, time I hear an interview, yeah. it's like Nando's, Nando's, Nando's. I love Nando's. <laughs> Seriously, I wish they had one in LA. They don't. What do you order? I get the chicken wrap okay. and I get it hot. Huh. I've tried extra spicy. I'm a, win <laughs> I'm a wings girl myself. <laughs> um, so Melek, she's got your she's got uh, your your surname as her yeah. first name. Um, was said, which celebrity do you want to meet most? Hmm. <laughs> I really want to meet James Franco. Okay. Yeah. Why? I just saw This Is the End. Actually, I've seen it like three times now. <laughs> and it's my favorite movie. It's hilarious, and he's very good looking. I'd love to meet him. Mm -hmm. I imagine. <laughs> I'd like to add Ryan Gosling to my list. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd like to meet him too. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, and Melix asked another question. Actually, said, mm -hmm. do, "Do you like the Jen? Uh, I can never say her name. Je, je, you say Is it. it. Oh yeah, yeah the Janoskins. Yeah, Janoskins. yeah. 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 I never say that. It's always tongue twist when I have to say that. I do <laughs> like them. I love their song "Best Friends." Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big fan. And um, Jenny wants to know, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? If I change one thing, it's probably that I'm so impatient about things. Yeah. Like, yeah, I just like want everything to happen now. Yeah. Yeah, so I'd like to maybe be a little more patient. <laughs> <laughs> so you say that you want everything to happen now. I mean, if you, and if you could wave a magic wand and say, this is what your future looks like, what does your future look like to you? Um, I mean, like a lot of success with my music because it's something I love to do and I really just want to do it like for my whole life. I couldn't see myself doing anything else. So can we get a sample of kind of one of your songs? Maybe maybe your latest single? Okay. I can't really, yeah, come on. <laughs> Started out as the perfect kind of summer. Who would have known it would go down the gutter? Had me wishing every minute you would give me something. And the rest you can on YouTube. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Fantastic. Um, so it's summer at the moment. We sort of mentioned the summer. Kind of, what are your favorite things to do in the summer? Um, I like going to the beach. Yeah. And you know, I haven't been out to the beach out here, so yeah. I want to. It's not near here. <laughs> it's not allowed quite far. Okay. Well, that'd be nice. But yeah, the beach in LA is awesome, and I just like hanging out with my friends. Like mm -hmm. me and my friend, we love going to the movies, and we always go on our onesies. Oh. So that's really fun. People kind of give us weird looks, or either compliment us, but it's cool. <laughs> I don't think I. I mean, I don't actually own a onesie, but um, oh I, don't, my God, yeah, I don't know if I'd ever go to the cinema in a onesie. Ah, oh, <laughs> and it's so comfortable though, especially if you're going to go to like a scary movie. Like we went to go see The Conjuring, yeah. and so we went in these like little cat onesies, <laughs> and it was, it, was, it was better. It was like comfy. <laughs> I think The Conjuring is just coming out um, today, this weekend. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, it came out. Like... You no, know, we're behind over here. Yeah. <laughs> we sometimes get things late. <laughs> but that that movie was really scary. Mm. Yeah. What, what was the last thing you saw at the cinema? Um, I think it was a laundry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I went like the day before I came out here. Mm. Um, so for kind of like, your male fans watching, kind of mm -hmm. what qualities do you look for in a guy? You're gonna Quality. date someone. Um, they have to be funny. Mm. So if you're boring, that's not <laughs> fun. And um, I don't know. You just like have to get along with them, and you know, and they're like the right person. Then you know. Yeah. We um. 
you're quite young, so it's kind of like obviously you've got good going into an industry that's kind of known for, you know, very fast, a lot of things happen. I mean, who's your support system? Who's there for you to kind of keep you grounded and guide you? I mean, I have a great family who support me and, you know, are always there for me. So they're the ones who keep me grounded and also my friends. So what's the best way for people to keep in touch with you? You can contact me on Twitter at the underscore Tamara Malek or my website, tamaramalek.com. Fantastic. So when's the single out? It is out September. Yes, but the video comes out this month. So make sure you check it out, mm -hmm. keep it locked to Flavor Mag, and make sure you cut the single. Yeah. Bye. Bye.